Hello, hello, and welcome back to more Tsubuku Logic. It's been a whole nother day, I guess. Were those like mushrooms up there? We're not very far here. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god, the expenses that I hid behind the locker are missing. But why did you hide the money there? <laughs> please. Please help to find it with me. Oh. We're together. Nope. Tsumugu by himself. Listen, you cardboard cutout bitch. On the desk, there were a watch of traveling leaflets and files. It's messy. Yep. We don't need these leaflets anymore. They've already decided where to go. We don't need them. I'm gonna throw them away. Nozaki took all the leaflets and paper on the desk and inserted them into the shredder. A lot of paper was inserted into the shredder's feed slot. It seems to get jammed. Go. Good job, Nozaki. He looks so fucking pleased with himself. I want to slap him. Why did Nozaki hide the money behind the li locker? It wasn't a good idea. I know. Magazines were piled on the cupboard. They are. They were motorcycle magazines. Strangely, it was just messy around here. Okay. There are document files here. One of the members tidied them. They're very nice. A window. It says from the 27th to 29th August in red. Might be the next trip schedule. It says to Nozaki and Koko, please pay this travel agency. I. What about this very green couch? Nothing? No? There were two drawers. In one drawer were the pens, and the other drawer was locked. Heck you. A lot of paper inserted into the shredder, but it wasn't shredded. I touched the shredder and it moved. This shredder wasn't fixed well. We searched for money inside the room. We can't find it. What are you going to do? This is, uh... We should tell Yoshimoto this. Yeah. Thanks, Kotoko. What? I've got to go job hunting meeting at the Nagoya station now. In your casual clothes? It said please come in your casual clothes, so it's fine. Hey, don't trust that phase. Phrase? Yeah, words. I can't read. I was planning to, to go to pay in Sakai and then go to Nagoya. But I have to change my plan. You suspicious. So please, do it for me, Kotoko. Why me? The first time I to see Kotoko's enraged face. Of course, I can understand her. So see ya. Nozaki went out as if he was escaping. Hey, Kotoko. I can't believe this. How could he leave me like this? And is he going to the job hunting meeting in his casual clothes? I hope he fails to find a job. Otoko whispered like a curse. Oh no, I'm terrible. I shouldn't pray for somebody's bad luck. Otoko, calm down. Understand how you feel? Okay. okay. So, uh, oh, yes, Yoshimoto. I should call Yoshimoto. Kotoko took her smartphone out of her pocket. It was just Kotoko and me in the room, but I couldn't give the letter to her in this mood. Aww. Aww. Poor child. He doesn't deserve his letter. 